I, I like that it's not a polar plunge. That's a popular thing in some other places. Right. Well, Finally. I was going to ask, what's water temperature? Oh, it's in the upper 60s at least. I mean, we're okay, getting closer. Okay, for us, that's pretty good, right? Not bad, uh, but I mean, in the morning, first thing in the morning, that, that's a little chilly. That's like having a cold shower to It'll wake you up. It'll get you started, yeah. Absolutely, and it will <laughs> wake you up like a hot cup of coffee, even though it is fairly chilly. All right, so let's Fair talk about so. what is coming our way because it will be a little bit warmer. Uh, once we get into tomorrow, though, it's, it's actually not going to be so bad, but we have some rain to contend with first. What we're going to be looking at here is a chance for showers starting later tonight. Not now. It's looking great out there to begin. Lots of sunshine and our temperatures are quite nice. We're looking at around, uh, I think we're in the low to mid 70s. There we go, 76 degrees. And east wind at around 9 miles per hour. It's come about a little bit. We've had it up around the north for the most of the morning. So everyone is looking spectacular right now. It makes you wish, oh, could we just continue this for the next, oh, two to three days? Make it a full weekend. I wish this is going to have something to say about it. Uh, it's not going to be necessarily to our liking as we move through late tonight and tomorrow. But uh, as uh, Marie was asking me, Gerard, am I going to get my tennis lesson in this evening? And I said, I think so, uh, because it's likely not going to arrive till a little bit after so closer towards midnight. The rain is needed, though. Here's our drought situation. We only dropped one category here in Cook County. Uh, other areas, DeKalb and up towards Waukegan, it's still in the moderate category. The rest of us are still sitting around the severe drought category. Yes, it takes more than just one day of eight inches of rainfall to get rid of a drought, and we need the slow, more beneficial rainfall for that. Here it is as we move through uh, the overnight hours around midnight beyond. We'll see the chance for showers, possibly a rumble of thunder. Most of this activity is happening overnight through tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, it's only going to be a lingering light shower at worst here, and we're going to see our temperatures uh, kind of following suit with the fact that we'll see the rainfall. Rain chances will be around as we move into next week. We're going into a bit of an unsettled pattern, so be prepared to see some of that. We'll be in the 70s through Saturday, 80s as we get into next week.